channel, my name is Blausi Emede Nakpo, the CEO of The Unique Farms, popularly known as Andy, the rabbit ambassador. Um, why rabbit? I'm here to introduce you to more information that other farmers will not tell you when it comes to rabbit farming. It's been a very long experience and I want to show you the do's and don'ts whenever you think of rabbit farming. Now, why rabbits? There are other animals you can venture into. Uh, poultry, piggery, and you can mention them. But why rabbits? I have been in rabbit farming for quite some decades. And that is the main reason why I'm here to educate you on rabbit farming. Now, rabbits can be kept as pets. You can keep them on a large scale as well. It is known as, as coniculture. The rabbit farming is called coniculture. Now, one of the main reasons why rabbit farming, to me, is very important is apart from the health benefits of the meat, it's one of the businesses you can start on a small scale and grow with time. And that is why I'm here to educate you. Now I'm going to give you the advantages, the disadvantages when it comes to rabbit farming. Like I said, you can start on a very small scale with the little space you have, you can start your rabbit farm. You can start on a large scale if you want. But the most important thing is to have the knowledge, to have the idea what you are about to invest your money into. Now, the advantages. Rabbits have no religious boundaries when it comes to their consumption. It's a white meat, very healthy, rich in protein. You can mention them. They are very easy to handle. Even your children in the house can help you manage your farm if they are interested in keeping them. Now, another good thing about rabbits is that they are very good in climatizing to their environment. They climatize very easily. Uh, no matter where you are, you can easily raise rabbits, provi uh, providing that you are able to put them in a very good condition that would suit them. They climatize very easy, and that is one advantage about them. The disadvantages when it comes to rabbit farming. One of the biggest disadvantages is that they need a lot of attention. Now, if they lose attention from you, that is where you start facing some challenges. And the most important thing, knowing or understanding them. A lot of people will talk about high mortality rates, especially with the bunnies, which are the young ones. But when you know what you are doing, when you know what you are into, it becomes very easy to handle. Or let's say you can eradicate that part of the mortality aspect. How do you start? First of all, before you think or before you, uh, after you think of going into rabbit farming or when you have the idea of going into rabbit farming, how do you start? The first question you ask yourself is where you are going to keep your rabbits. The second question is what are you going to keep them into? The third question is your location. Are you able to source their feed? Can you get their feed easily where you are? Fourth, who are you going to sell them to? Or the market around you? How is the market like? These are some of the things that you have to look at before thinking or planning to go into rabbit farming. Now, rabbits are very easy to handle, like I said earlier. And the most important thing is to give them a very good environment, give them good attention. Then you are good to go. Now, when you decide on the caging system to go with, where to keep your rabbits, how to get their feed and whatever, how to get their feeders, 
The next thing to do is the type of breed to use or the type of breeds to go with, the type of breeds that you are going to start with. Okay, and that is where you have to get in touch with some farmers close and near. You have to visit some farmers, get more information about the breeds and then uh, the farmers themselves, the, the methods they are using. And then before you make a selection of the breeds to go with. Now, where to get the breeds from? There are a lot of farmers in the system you can get your breeds from, but you have to always look at the hygiene from the farm you are, you are getting your breed from, the feeding method, the knowledge of the farmer, and then um, the, the health of the animals before bringing them to your farm. Now, uh, when we look at farmers in general, they, they all have different methods, especially the caging system are different, the feeding systems are different, the, uh, how do you call it, the management in general are different. But you have to look at, you that is making the selection, you have to look at what will be suitable for you. So before you go for a, cage, a particular caging system, you have to look at other farmers, uh, look at the caging systems they have, look at the challenges that comes with it before you decide on what to go with or what to finally decide or settle with. Now you look at the feeding methods. We have something called the feeders in which the rabbits feed. It plays a very big role. It's, it's one, uh, one, one of the objects or items that plays a very big role in uh, the growth of your animals. Because we have a lot of feeders in the system that uh, the animals end up losing the feed. They waste the feed. And that is why they don't put on weight for you to, for, for the farmer at a particular period of time. Now, when you have a good feeder, the animal grows properly. They grow well because they are not able to waste the feed. They feed on it and they are able to put on the meat that you want at a particular time. Now, the caging system is something you should also be very careful with because when you go on social media or you look at other videos, what is happening elsewhere in the, uh, let's say, in Europe or in America, their weather condition is different. So if you want to go by the caging system over here, you might be in trouble. We have something, we have two types of caging system, the outdoor system and then the indoor system. Behind me here, I am using the outdoor system because my cages are exposed to the sun and the rain. But how are the animals protected is the most important thing. Now, I cannot use the indoor cages outside because with the indoor cages, the cages are made up of all mesh. So when you use the indoor cages outside, then automatically you are exposing the animals to the weather condition. So the cages behind me are purposely made to protect the animals against the weather condition, being it raining season or uh, heat season, they are okay to produce. So before you make a decision as to what type of uh, system to use, you also have to look at your location and look at what will be suitable for you. But what I can advise you is never use the indoor caging system outside but sometimes you can use the outdoor caging system inside the only thing is it even protects the cage because it's wooden it protects it and makes it more durable but then using the indoor cages outside can be very problematic it can affect your production it can affect the health of your animals it can affect so many things which we will be going into more, we will break it down in maybe our next episode. So these are the information or this is one of the uh, important aspects I want you to pay attention to when you are making a decision as to which caging system to use, which feeders to use, the location of your animal or where to locate your cage, being it in your house or 
uh, in a farm, where to locate it, and then uh, for you to enjoy the, the, uh, the farming. If this is the first time you are watching, like I said, like, share, and then subscribe so that you'll be the first to see our next video. Now, um, in our next episode, I'll be talking about so many things. So just comment and then follow us for more. So if you are watching me right now and uh, you think of starting your rabbit farm, we do more of training, we do farm establishment, we set up a farm, we sell breeding stocks, we sell the meat. So anything you need about rabbit farming, just give us a call. Our numbers are 0249386142. You can follow us on all social media pages, The Unique Farms Limited. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, we are on there. So you can follow us and then like our works and share and then give us a call anytime you need our assistance. Thank you.